everyone, and thank you for watching today. I'm joined by Mike Hollands, who's the Senior Director of Market Developments at Interaction, a digital realty company. Mike's joined us today for a brief speaker interview to talk about the subsea world, which is occurring soon. So Mike, the first question I have for you, why are you looking forward to the event? Why do you, well, you and Interaction come? James, thanks for speaking with me this morning. I was looking at my diary and I saw that the last time we met face to face in Marseille at the Subsea World event was July 2019. So a lot has happened since then. And that's what makes getting back together after such a long time so exciting. For example, um, we've, we've seen the 15th cable come ashore in Marseille during that time. Uh, the Peace submarine cable system connecting Pakistan to Marseille is, is now live and active. Um, we've seen new terrestrial routes be established by networks such as Terra Alpha, uh, adding diversity and new connectivity from Marseille to key, key locations in, in Europe. And we've seen our community of interest in our data centers really be active. The number of cross connects that we see in our data centers, the, the number that we install monthly has gone up 30% in that time. And we've nearly doubled the install base of cross connects in our data centers during that time. So, so much has happened, um, which, which makes it very exciting to get together face to face with everyone um, and, and, and discuss those the implications of all that. Brilliant. Yeah, there's a lot going on since, well, especially since July 2019. My next question for you, Mike, is around the agenda and the topics. So we have you delivering a keynote presentation on Marseille and, and the future for that hub. What, why are the topics we're covering this year relevant to you and the wider Interaction team? Okay, well, um, Interaction has been investing heavily in Marseille during the last few years. Uh, in fact, in, in 2020, we opened our third data center and we're shortly to open in August our fourth data center in Marseille. Um, but I'm going to speak a little bit about not just that Marseille continues to grow, but how the role of the Mediterranean as a whole is expanding. So we're seeing lots of new systems come along that connect to Marseille, but other locations as well to provide customers with the diversity and resilience they're looking for. So we ourselves uh, are, are, are trying to help that trend. Uh, we've purchased a business in, in Greece uh, called Lambda Helix. Uh, we've recently purchased some land in Barcelona, and we have a project in Rome that uh, continues to be uh, developed. So. It, we've spotted this need for the Mediterranean as a whole to be uh, the solution for the subsea cable industry. And, and uh, we're, you know, we're excited to communicate about that. But it goes beyond the, the, the Mediterranean. Uh, Africa is becoming a fast growing, increasingly important market. We have been present in Kenya with ICOLO uh, for a number of years now. And Randis Cherical, the CEO of ICOLO, will be on a, a panel speaking about Africa and our experiences uh, there. Um, during that time, since we last met, we uh, we also made an acquisition in, in Nigeria. Um, so Ike, uh, our, our CEO from Nigeria, will be present at the event. He's not on the panel, but a, a, a reflection of, you know, there's so much happening in, in, in Africa. Um, and, and, and that's why I think, you know, Ranjit's panel is a, a must-see. And also uh, a colleague of mine, Caroline Puigrenier, will be participating on a panel that will be looking at the symbiotic relationship between open carrier neutral data centers and subsea cables. And, you know, it's become so evident uh, how symbiotic the relationship is during the last few years. But uh, I, again, I think Caroline and her fellow panelists will, will have some extremely insightful points to share. Sounds like the team have been very busy for the last few years, so it'd be great to hear about all of these developments on site. My final question for you, Mike, is how have you found the return to in-person events? 
It's been a few months now and things have really been ramping up with travel again. How have you found it all? Well, it just underlines how uh, boring uh, doing all our meetings online were during the uh, pandemic. Um, I think um, great efforts were made to do the best we could by having virtual events. Uh, but to be frank, they, they, they don't match the, uh, the magic that happens when people meet face to face, uh, not just in formal meetings, but in cocktails and other associated events around uh, the, the subsea world event. Uh, so it's, it's like night and day for me. Uh, it, it, wonderful to be back, seeing everybody again face to face and I uh, really can't wait till, um, you know, the subsea world uh, starts uh, in a few days time. Brilliant. I know I'm definitely looking forward to it. I hope everyone else is. Thank you, Mike. It's been great speaking with you today. And I look forward to seeing you in the sunny south of France for cocktails, meetings and in-person events. Thank you. Okay, James, don't forget your sunglasses. <laughs> Thanks.